Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I have my cards and then I have my cleansing crystal on top. So we're going to see what's going on here and who needs to hear a message. So current situation, we have the Eight of Swords. Cards just want to come out here. What is that being crossed by the Knight of Pentacles? What do you need to focus on? We have the Four of Swords. What are you leaving behind? Knight of Wands. What are you? Um, what are your strengths? We have the Seven of Wands. Near future, we have the Four of Pentacles. The advice we have the Page of Pentacles. The environment is the Ace of Pentacles. Hopes and fears is the Empress. Potential outcome is the King of Swords. And then the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. I almost feel like this Three of Swords is what's holding you back here, like what you're struggling with. Like there's, has there been some sort of disappointment lately? Um you've been disappointed by something something that's that that someone or something that has let you down and i almost feel like it's kind of holding you in place and it's kind of i almost see it like it like it's putting its arms around you and it's holding you in your place so that you can't move and I feel like you need to realize that the Three of Swords is doing this to you and that it's you're holding yourself back and then it's it, it's consuming you. That's what I feel like is that the Three of Swords is consuming you. <coughs> and sometimes we don't realize how much energies or things consume us. And I feel like, are you always like thinking about this Three of Swords, like whatever this represents to you? Are you always thinking about it? It could be a separation because I was just reading what it says here. The Three of Swords symbolizes separation or the breakup of an important relationship. Ending a frustrating relationship and regaining freedom. And that's what you need to do is ending a frustrating relationship and gain freedom. Because I feel like you don't realize that it's putting you in this Eight of Swords energy. And it's keeping you stuck. And that you're not moving towards positive change. <coughs> it's just like you're, it's keeping you in this energy. What you need to focus on, we have the Four of Swords. And I feel like it's, it says the Four of Swords suggests a period of retreat and deliberation. You need time to slow down and take a break. Reflect and pay attention to lessons learned. Right. And I feel like that's very fitting. To like step away from the situation and say, okay, this is what's going on here. And that I need, I, this, the universe is trying to show me something. And I want to hear that message. And, and I don't want to shut my down, myself down. I feel like the universe is always trying to help us to grow. It's always trying to help us to guide us. You know, whatever, however that relates to you, whether it's spirit guides or the universe or whatever you feel drives you in a positive way that loves you and wants you to have the best life ever and for you to learn these lessons, right? And that's what life is about is you're always having challenges to learn lessons and to become stronger and more confident. What I almost feel like, like this is the past and like it's running away, right? Like you're like, okay, I'm moving on. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that behind me. So I feel like that's what that's here is, is like leaving right? This is the energy that's leaving, right? The energy of the eight of swords that I'm not going to hold myself back anymore. Your strengths is the seven of wands, which is standing up for yourself. I feel like you were kind of lacking in that. I feel like that was kind of like you weren't really focusing on that. And I feel like that's something that you need to get back to. Sometimes we, sometimes things happen so slowly that we don't even realize that they're happening. And I feel like that's what may be happening here. That the change is so little. In the near future, we have the Four of Pentacles. 
and I feel like it's focusing on you. I don't feel that it's shutting down. I don't feel like it's closing off, but I feel like it's focusing, grounding yourself because Pentacles is, is earth energy, which is grounding energy and grounding yourself. And I feel like you're sort of floating with this eight of swords here and you're kind of right that, that you're feeling like you're floating, but it's time to ground yourself again. And then we have the page of Pentacles for advice. We have a lot of pentacles here, but I feel like it represents grounding energy. And it's kind of, what are those new things that you can focus on that will help you to feel more grounded? And it's not focusing on what happened. <coughs> to process it and to let it go and say that happened for a reason. What can I learn from it? If I can't learn anything from it, then I'm going to move on. I'm not going to hold on to it. I know that I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising and I hold on. I hold on to things too much and I feel like that's what Capricorns do is because like we're so passionate and we're so intense even though people don't feel that way because we have like this kind of like stronger or colder exterior not all of us some of us do some of us don't I'm not trying to lump everything together but I feel like in general, like Capricorn has this very strong on the outside, but on the inside, we're like mush. <laughs> and that when we hurt, we hurt really hard. When we love, we love really hard. But we also hold on to things too long. Maybe you don't, and that's fine. But for this reading, I feel like it might be someone, it resonates with somebody who holds on to things too long, and that's why the the this three of swords here is kind of like that's what the problem is is this three of swords and sometimes we try to keep playing through things in our heads so that maybe it will come out with a different scenario and it's not and it's kind of realizing okay that this is hurting me so I have to move on from this <coughs> that this is not serving me right and then the environment is having that sturdier base that grounding energy and saying okay I realize that this happened but I need to move on and I need to look out for me and I need to get myself grounded right that's this energy here hopes and fears we have the empress which is that growth and that evolving and changing and learning more about yourself and saying you know what now that I think about it I do hold on to things too long and I do over process things and I overthink things. And then it's almost like I put myself in this cage of this three of this eight of uh, swords and I'm limiting myself. And then the potential outcome is the king of swords is, is being more analytical and seeing, okay, what am I doing those things that are working against myself that I have to change? What are those things that I need to change and I need to focus on and I need to let go of finding what our weak spots are finding finding what our weak spots are and either working with them or changing them and knowing okay but also realizing that everybody's human and that we're, we're all going to be disappointed and we're all going to disappoint people and say, well, that's part of life when things don't work out and when things don't happen the way that we want them to. I was just thinking of my animal oracle card, sometimes life stings and there's a wasp on it and I'm just looking outside of my window and there's a wasp on the outside of the building. <laughs> so I feel like that animal oracle card is trying to come through here and say, you know what, sometimes life stings, but how do we handle those those times when life stings? Do we let it close us off and shut us down? Or do we use that as energy and make ourselves stronger? And I feel like that's what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna grab a energy oracle. We have journey, you're on a journey. That's what you have to realize is that you're on a journey and you don't want to get stuck in this three of swords energy. You don't want to get stuck by the, the hurt or the challenges. 
and you're on a journey and you're, and you're going you're, like you're you're always on a journey like every moment of every day is you're on a journey and it's like how is this day going to be how is this day going to turn out right what's going to happen with this and it all depends on your mindset and how you see things and how you're working with things right and so you have to realize that you're on a journey and it's like if i can clear the path right and then i can let go of these th three of swords and i can process things and, and not keep myself st stuck in one spot that i'm clearing the way for me to have a better journey in my life to experience bigger and better things to have more opportunities or to have just more days where i feel content and i feel good rather than having more days where i feel sad or i'm holding myself back or i'm ignoring things or i'm, I'm putting myself in negative energy and how is your journey going to be? You're in charge of your journey and what it looks like. We can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react to things and what we surround ourselves with. And, and you're setting the tone for your journey. And is your journey going to be filled with Three of Swords energy? I know I don't want mine to be. And that's why I, I'm learning and I've learned to let things go. Just let it go, whatever. Like, you're not going to take up... Rent space in my head. You're not worth it. We have guardian. That there's someone looking over you and they're trying to get through to you to give you this message. That they want you to hear this message. That your guardian is saying, please hear this message. Right? You are creating your journey. And don't get stuck in this eight of swords and this three of swords energy of this overthinking. And they're, they're trying to reach through to you and give you signs. There may be signs that are going on around you um, that are happening for you. And I feel like it's just being kind of open to that and looking for those signs. Doesn't mean you have to look like every second. But if you see something that sticks out to you. Um, oh, hold on a second. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So. I'm seeing the number 44 is sticking out, 2 and 44. Like those numbers stick out to me. And then we have a yes, right? Right in between. We have 2, yes, 44. Guardian, 44. So it's like there's messages within messages. Like what sticks out to you? Listen to yourself. Like if you're, something catches your eye, like look at it and just like stop for a moment and say, okay. Why did that catch my eye? Or what is that trying to tell me? You know, even if you just like pause this video and you, and you look, because there's a lot of words and there, there's a lot of going on here. There's different signs and there's lots of different things. There's yeses and nos and there's so many things going on. And, and sometimes there, there could be, a, you know, a deeper message here for you. Um, for two, it's like new partnerships and new pathways and new directions, right? Twos are, you know, that progression that you have. And then fours are having a strong base and having a strong, like, security within yourself. And saying, I'm not going to let something like this Three of Swords rock my world, right? It may temporarily, but, you know, get back into that strength of yourself and say, I'm not going to let this rock my world. <laughs> right? And being strong and being confident. I'm not going to let that get to me. All right, let's grab an animal oracle just because I saw that. That would be really cool if the wasp spirit came up. We have electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life, right? What a, two, tw Look at that. How cool is that? See, there's another synchronicity here. We have number 24 came out. And what did I say? I said two and four was sticking out to me. So yes, I feel like you have an idea that you want to bring to life. And the reason why you haven't been able to bring it to life is because you've been so stuck up, stuck in this three of swords energy and it's holding you back to bring your idea to life because you're so in your head and you're so focusing on this three of swords. We're all going to have failures. We're all going to have those times where things don't happen and things fail. But it's like, do you pick yourself up and keep going? right and then i have this bottom card here um we have bat spirit a rebirth is assured yes it is without a doubt reassured 
when you get into this energy and you make these changes and you realize that it's your journey and what is that what that going to look like and what is that going to be and what is that going to feel like because you are in charge of that and that's number five and then i feel like let's close it out with a angel answers card Your ideas, I just feel like you have this really cool idea and I feel like you have this idea for something that you want to do or you want to create or you want to make happen. But I feel like that hasn't been able to come through because you've been so stuck in this three of swords energy. We have within the next few months, I love it. All right. Within the next few months, thinking about this reading, right? Looking for those signs, making those changes, Within the next few months, changes, like the opportunity is going to be there for you for this rebirth and for these changes. And, and, and it could be um, finances, it could be jobs, it could be career, right? It could be material, like with the pentacles, opportunities within the next few months, right? And I feel like it's putting, getting your mind right getting your mind set right and creating your journey and the energy of your journey within the next few months you could be bringing your idea to life right whatever that is that you want to do like you're you've worked on this three of swords and this eight of swords and you've set yourself free and all of a sudden things start happening for you right and the ball starts rolling for you and that's an amazing thing and that's really, really exciting and that's a great way to close out 2023. That's a great way to celebrate your birthday and that's a great way to start 2024. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.